Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics, or well, this time more like fluid technique, yeah? because we are talking still about valves, yeah? and now we want to talk about two different things, two different basic ways of how we can achieve what a valve is doing, yeah? or the function of a valve. Yeah? So there are two ways, there are the so-called poppet valves and there are so-called sliding valves. Yeah? And I now give you an example, two examples of a poppet valve and a sliding valve with two elements you have never seen before in your life. Would be stupid, right? So <laughs> I chose something which you have seen for sure. Uh, however, this comes more from the field of hydraulic, but the working principle is the same. Uh, so let's have a look. Hmm? This is one thing. Huh? This is one of these valves. I guess you have already seen such a thing. Huh? And this is the other thing. I also guess you have already seen such a thing. Huh? Now what is what? Take a look on the function. Huh? Let's have a look on the function. Here, this is a poppet valve. Yeah. We can look inside there. Yeah. See? If I turn the knob, if I turn the knob, here this, this plate is opening. You see? Can this be seen? Or maybe from the other side also. Yeah. There is the plate, and if I turn, it's simply opening. Yeah. And if I close again, the plate is closed. Yeah. So the plate is pressed against, against the seat. Okay. This is called a poppet valve. If something is closing, is covering the hole, and then really it needs to be lifted off yeah, by whatever mechanism is inside there. This is called a poppet valve. Yeah. Hopefully it can be seen. Poppet valve. Yeah. There's always little signs on it in which direction the flow should be. So this is a poppet valve. And now, if this was a poppet valve, then this is probably a sliding valve. Now let's have a look how this is opening. If I operate this, make it that way. If I operate it, this is correct. Yeah. And that was the loss. Uh -huh. <laughs> this does not prove my point, but now I can operate. See, now it's a hole. Still operate. Again, operate back. So there is... There is a little bowl inside. Yeah? And this bowl is opening and closing, you see? That's a totally different way. Yeah? Here I have not to work, to lift something, I have just to shift something. Yeah? I have something to slide, to slide open. So this is sliding open yeah? and this is lifted open. Yeah? So these are, these are the two things. Both do have one inch. Uh, so they are pretty much the same, pretty much the same. Uh. Now, why are there two ways? Uh, because they are simply there, they, there might be two ways. Uh. So we said, we said, let's try it with this poppet valve. Uh. So there are usually, there are usually, uh, Somewhere a hole, 
Yeah. And there might be something like this. Yeah. A plate. Yeah. And this plate is lifted. Yeah. It's lifted up and down. Yeah. And then it's open or closed. Yeah. We've seen this here. Yeah. Usually here are rubber ceilings or something like this. Yeah. However, there's not only a plate, there might also be something like this, yeah. a ball, yeah. ball shaped, yeah. ball valves, yeah. or there might be something like this, a cone. Yeah. Okay. So these are these are poppet valves. Yeah where we really have to lift them off, off the hole. The advantages of these are, they are very robust. Okay, they are uh, robust, no wear, uh, they are really rigid. Yeah? And not sensitive to dirt. Not sensitive to dirt. However, the disadvantage of this type is that we have high operating forces. Simply because we have to get it open. We have to falsely fo open them. Yeah? Here, I only have to slide. Yeah? Here, I really have to pull this. This is helping me. This uh, the, the screw inside is helping me. However, yeah, has higher operating forces. Yeah? And there is the sliding valve. Sliding valve. The a very simple sliding valve would be like this. There's the hole again we want to cover. Yeah. There is also a plate shaped like and we slide it open. Okay. This is a rather easy sliding valve. Sliding valve, so the upside here is simply yeah, low operating forces. Low operating forces. The downsides are quite sensitive to dirt. You have to imagine if here at the sliding at the sliding area surface there is some dirt, yeah. Then I will make scratches, and then it's not sealed that good anymore. Yeah? So sensitive to dirt and more wear. Simply, huh? there's simply more wear on them. Yeah? So also here, there are different constructions. Yeah, there, there are these types of constructions. Then. Uh, they are also pretty sure you know these type of constructions. Open and close. Yeah, so this is the difference between poppet valve and sliding valve. Both have their meaning. Also, usually, usually sliding valves, they have a small leakage, maybe. Yeah? If this is, for instance, in pneumatic, it's not that extreme because there are rubber ceilings and so on. Yeah? But in hydraulic, if the pressures are really, really getting high, there might be a leakage here. Yeah? So sliding valve usually has some small leakage. Poppet valve, not. Yeah? Or this, 
these low operating forces here on the sliding valve side, these are really okay, yeah. Simply because uh, my control part does not, I do not want to have, I do not want to use a whole power plant just for controlling my things. Yeah? I want to have it tiny and small and I want to really have, and with this tiny and small signal from the control part, I want to switch. Yeah? Okay, so this is the sliding valves, they're pretty, pretty common. Yeah? Even if it's now looking like they have more disadvantages, yeah? but they are used, heavily used. Hmm? One moment, I also have a short video for you. Yeah? Look at that. Wow. What do you think? This is a puppet valve or the sliding valve? Yeah? Of course it's a puppet valve. There is a seat and it's sealed. Yeah? So, this is not a plug, this is a puppet valve. Yeah? <laughs> this is what separates the technician from ordinary person. Yeah? The vocabulary. <laughs> Two possibilities. Puppet valve, sliding valve. Okay. I hope it's clear now. Next time we're going to talk about go through some constructions, different constructions. I mean, these are two examples, but then we're switching really back to pneumatics and have a look on how those things look like in pneumatic. Yeah? How? I don't know, a 3-2 way valve may look like and how it looked like as a sliding valve, how it looked like in a poppet valve. This will then be in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye. <laughs>